Hi guys, welcome back to Buck Buck Bouquet. Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, 2024. And today I just finished this nice coop for a client of mine. And they're actually located in Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm just gonna give you a quick little tour of their coop that they just bought from me that I built all week long. And uh, later on my brother and my dad and them are gonna come and help me lift it up into a truck because it's a few hundred pounds heavy. And I don't know how it's gonna go, but stick around to the end so you can see how we load it up on a truck. But let's get started. First, I'm gonna walk you through. This coupe is a five by eight footer. And this one has that extra built-in storage compartment here on the side. So it'll let you store your chicken feed, your chicken snacks, and your shovel, or whatever you might wanna put here. And it even has the capability of adding a, a, a shelf in here. So you can even add a couple extra things like your oyster shell and things like that. But that's just optional. It's just ready to go. It's lined with linoleum vinyl on the floor that goes throughout the entire length of the coop. And that's just for easier cleanup of your coop. Makes your, your uh, floor waterproof so that chicken poop and all that doesn't go through the bedding and then into your plywood. It's completely waterproof. And I know that for a fact because the other day when I was building, it rained overnight. I woke up and the whole floor was wet and all the, the beads of water were still on the floor. Had to, to go in there and dry it up with a towel. When we open this up, we got our dividing wall right there from the storage compartment. And then you still have this nice large area here for your chickens and it's got the three large roost bars here. All the heights are equal on this coop so that your chickens are not fighting over who's the top boss and who's gonna be at the top of the pecking order because they usually wanna roost up higher than the rest. So we're gonna minimize that by adding all the roost bars at equal heights. There, there's plenty of space between them. And like I said, it's got the linoleum flooring here on the bottom, so protect your plywood. It's got this detachable ramp that is just stored away in here right now, but this is how it would function. Just on some eye hooks, boom. It's got the automatic chicken coop door, which works on a timer mode or light sensor mode. Right now we have it turned off just to save the battery. It's battery operated. We use ours on a timer mode, so it opens at six in the morning and it closes at 7 p.m. currently right now because of shorter days but in the summer we set it to close at like 9 p.m. and it's nice we just close the chicken run and all of our chickens we see them going up the ramp and then the door closes on them about an hour past sunset if you come over on this side we have our nesting box lid that's a three-quarter inch plywood there painted white with the little spring hook there to hold your your lid up so it doesn't come crashing down on your head while you're trying to collect your eggs here every night. We collect our eggs daily, once at night, so that we're not taking mul multiple trips to the coop. We just, when we put our chickens up for the night, we come and collect all of our eggs all at once. And then, this particular client, they live in s some area north of Phoenix, Arizona. They said they get uh, some extreme weather, like rain and snow occasionally. So they asked me if I can somehow cover up the windows. And then I just thought of this last night and I went to the store and I kind of executed it. But I did get some of this plexiglass that is on these little hooks like this. They're clips. Originally I was gonna magnetize them, but then I thought I should just screw them directly onto my coop. And then whenever it's a really rainy day and it's raining sideways with the heavy winds, um, we don't get much water in ours if at all so i try to explain that to my client but they said if you could still somehow cover them up so i thought of doing something like this something real easy that they can come and do on those really stormy days it's just come up here and clip it up and now any rain that's coming and crashing here it's gonna hit the plexiglass down the slope and down to the floor i did the same thing on the front door here you got the plexiglass here on these three clips and the other one thing I didn't mention is besides the linoleum floor, this is a one by three, or I mean a, a two by three. So it's an, it's an inch and a half tall. And if your bedding was up to there and you open your door, it would all come spilling out. So I like to add this little five inch lip here on some L brackets to hold that up. So then you can do the deep litter method if you wanted to. You can just keep adding some hemp bedding on here. We like to use hemp bedding from myfavoritechicken.com. We'll leave the link in the description below. But you can do the deep litter method and same thing with the nesting boxes over there. If you come over here, you can see how it's equal length or equal height, I mean. And you can do the deep litter method if that's what you wanted. It's got ventilation up here at the top for those winter months to eliminate humidity building up in your coop. Even though it's cold, chickens are built for the cold, so you don't need to worry about that. But you do need ventilation, so you got about a one and a half inch gap right here going around the entire coop. For ventilation, you got your PVC roofing here, which should be plenty strong for rain and some snow. I just wouldn't recommend walking up here 
because it's not intended to hold up a 200 pound man or something like that. But it's got the roofing there. I'm really happy with the color of this cube. The client wanted it to match their Camaro or, or some sort of car that they drive. So I told them to go to the store and pick out a, a, a color and that they liked and they, they decided to match their car. They sent me the name of the color. I painted it for them, custom painted, custom built. And this will be the farthest coupe I ever deliver. I usually don't deliver. I build them here at home. People come pick them up in a truck, but they asked if I can deliver it to their house. So the answer was yes. If you live somewhere else besides Southern California, where we're at here in Quartz Hill, California, keep in mind that I can deliver. If you guys just cover the cost of the gas and the truck rental. So if, if you want a chicken coop built by me and you live somewhere else a little farther, I can do it. So hit me up in the comments below or send us an email at botbouquet at gmail.com. We're gonna get ready inside, go pick up the truck from Home Depot right now so we can deliver tomorrow. And I gotta call my dad and my brother and see if they can come help me pick it up because Kelly's not strong enough to just do it with me. Stronger. Tito's stronger than me? Yeah, Who's stronger than I think, I think the Tito's father or the son? Punta Castellao too. Yo, yo, chimpa Castellao. Father or the son? I think me and Alex will be back here. We're trying to figure out how we're gonna execute this because that's a big coupe to fit inside of that truck. Last time Jonathan be heavy. helped out, he cut his face. <laughs> <laughs> that head is just open. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you're going to hit your, your oh, stomach right there. It's better like this. It would be better if... Because right now you're cornered. Would it be better if you're just on the side? Like this? Me. What, what, what kind of no, I, I'm good in the corner. My, you and my dad could be on the side. Okay. But let's say we put the no, legs I'm on there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then I jump up. Oh, yeah. Then we pull it. <laughs> then the back end. Um, someone should probably be down the center to go up the ramp and lift the rest. Well, they're so, gonna be from the side. So, so maybe I'll jump in well, the back, and then my dad can come and help hey, the three here, so he can go up the ramp. One, two, two three. Dale vuelta atrás. Vuelta. Hay que bajar. You good? I think let's go forward a little bit. Dale pues. Mira, si quieres aquí hay que bajarla poquito despacito. Go down. One, two, three. You got a cam. It's not wide enough. You measure. Should be. You measured it? You measured it? The roof looks like it's gonna hit. It's gonna fit. Didn't you say you've done so this that's before? that's 71. Here's 71, so we got like two inches. You're brave. <laughs> <laughs> You're brave. <laughs> what the? Two you got inches? A, we got a, you got an inch in the knee. <laughs> on each side. We can come from here, and then once the middle is on top, then you're good. We can just hold it, you know, and then we can just move it forward. Uh, yeah. Igual, pa. Sí, so pero, watch the head and watch the roof. Ahí, we gotta, and watch these mira, edges. We gotta go left there, Richie. We gotta go left. Mira, okay. Okay. Como yeah. dos watch the this and get... You able to squat, Richie? Huh? You able to squat? Yeah. <laughs> on, the on three. You know when you're ready. One, two, three. Left. 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 A little more left. There you go. Más para left. Espérate, espérate, pájale aquí, güey. Chico, espérate, come help you guys. I can get it by myself. No, he cannot get out. How's he gonna no, get out? No, 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 salgas. Oh, porque la mata en medio. Pull up the ramp, chico, right in the middle. Sure. Mira. Ok, va. Una, dos, tres. A little bit of right. Bájale. Bájale, bájale. Okay. We're good right now. Almost, almost. Carmo libre de ver. Ahí está, ahí está. Ahí está. Una, dos, tres. Ya, ya. A little more. Okay. Uh, el recha. Uy. It's a mission. Uh, this is how we can get out of here. <laughs> All right. Well, we were able to do it, guys. Thanks to my family over here. Oh, there goes my AirPods. But we're able to do it. We're gonna go to Arizona tomorrow morning. Hopefully we can take it out of here just as easy as we put it in. Thank you guys mm -hmm. for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel because it's the 1st of January, 2024. And we got a whole year full of videos coming up. See you guys next time. Cheers. David. David Alexander.